Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I have a feel good, full body, mat Pilates workout. So when you're ready, go ahead and grab your mat and we'll get to it. Today, go ahead and start in a comfortable seated position and let's just take a few breaths all together here. Just taking a moment to arrive onto our mat and just kind of set our intention for our class today. So go ahead and close down the eyes and let's just take a couple breaths all together. You can place your hands on your knees if that feels comfortable. Take an inhale through the nose, focusing on expanding through the rib cage and breathing laterally through your back. And as you exhale, release all the air out through your mouth from the lungs. Let's do that again. Take an inhale, expanding, Exhale, knit the ribs together and find those deep core muscles. Let's do one more breath all together. Take an inhale and exhale. Good, go ahead and open the eyes. And then we'll start today at the top of our mat. So you can press the soles of the feet into the floor, bend the knees and sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, we'll start to slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Beautiful. Now from here, scooch the heels in a bit closer towards your glutes and take an inhale to prepare. And then on your exhale, start to curl your tailbone and rock the hips up, finding your core, finding your glutes. Take another inhale and then exhale to slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. And then from here, let's go ahead and come back to a seated position. So we'll scooch the feet out a bit. Take an inhale as you reach the arms up to the ceiling and then exhale to start to lift the chin over the chest and roll all the way up. Once the armpits come over the hips, that's when we'll unravel and restack our spine. Great job. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Keep that control. Place the palms down, scooch the feet in, and then we'll do a bridge. And we'll do that a few more times. Take an inhale, and then exhale to scoop and lift. Find your glutes, find your core, take another inhale. Exhale, roll down, let your upper back hit, then your mid back, then your low back, and your sacrum hits last. Scooch the feet out a bit, reach the arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, chin over chest, roll all the way up, and then once the armpits come over, that's when we can sit up nice and tall, find your long spine, and then slowly roll back down all the way. Place your hands by your sides, scooch the heels in a bit closer, take an inhale, and then exhale to scoop and lift. And then let's go ahead and take some pulses here. Keep your gaze up to the ceiling as you lower the hips down, and then lift and squeeze back up for 10, 9, 8, Good, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold the hips high and let's extend the right leg straight up to the ceiling. Now from here, flex the foot to lower the leg down and point the foot to lift the leg up. Again, like that, flex, lower down, the knees go right in line with one another and point to lift up. Let's do eight. You've got this. Keep the ribs closed. Make sure you're not arching the back at all. You have six. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift the leg. Five. Beautiful job for four. You have three. Two. Last one. And then pulse the hips up just for ten. Nine. You got this. Eight. Seven. Six. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, gently place the foot down, extend your left leg long, flex the foot to lower the leg down, point the foot to lift the leg up. Again, keeping the hips square, not letting the ribs splay open at all. So you can peek at me for a second, this is incorrect. I'm gonna knit my ribs together now and lengthen my spine. That's where we wanna be. Good. You have five. Breathe for four. Almost there, last three two last one keep the leg up to the ceiling and take 10 pulses here you have eight seven breathe six five four got it three 
two, one. Bend the knee, gently place the foot down. Take an inhale, lift the hips high, and exhale to slowly roll down, one vertebra at a time. Beautiful job. From here, bring your legs to a tabletop position. Knees right over the hips, and then let's flex the feet. So you should be able to just see your, the tips of your toes pretty much. That's how you know you're in a good alignment with your tabletop. Place your hands on your ribs. And now from here, press your low back down into the mat. Take an inhale as you extend your right leg long. Exhale to pull it back in. Other side, inhale, exhale, bend. Right side. Really find that mind muscle connection of the abs pulling the knee in. Pull it in. Good, now from here, let's go ahead and hold our left leg long. And now let's start to simultaneously switch. So right away, switch legs and switch and switch. Good, you'll feel your torso will kind of want to move around here. Tighten through your entire core. Keep your low back down as you switch and switch and switch. Option to reach the arms forward, lift the head, neck and shoulders and continue on. Switch and switch and switch. We have 10, nine, breathe, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in and release. Let's take a nice little twist really quick. So go ahead and cactus the arms out to your sides. Let the knees fall over to the left side of the body and you can take your gaze over to the right or keep it straight up, whatever feels good for your body here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, now use your abs to pull the knees center. Let them fall over to the right side of your body, taking your gaze either straight up or over to the left. Deep breath here in through the nose and exhale, let it go. Nice job. Now from here, let's go ahead and extend our left leg long and then we'll reach our right leg straight up to the ceiling. Now from here, take an inhale to prepare and on your exhale, we're gonna do a single leg small circle. So you're just drawing a circle with the toes around and out and bringing it back center. You inhale, exhale, little circle. Inhale, exhale, circle. This is one of those Pilates movements that seems so simple, but if it's done correctly, your core should be on fire here. And you'll feel like, like just how I said before, the torso kind of wants to do a little something like that, but you really have to find your center. This is all coming from your center and I'm squeezing the heck out of my abs. I'm keeping my ribs closed. Let's just do two more this way. And don't be afraid to really press your arms in by your sides. Let's reverse it. Inhale, exhale, circle. Inhale, exhale, circle. Good. Let's do three more. Keep that control, keep your precision. Last time. Now from here, let's grab onto the back of the thigh. Take an inhale to prepare and we'll come into our single leg stretch. Exhale to curl the chin over the chest, hover the left leg over your mat, and then start to switch legs, grabbing onto the back of the left thigh and then to the right. We're breathing in for two and out for two, percussive breath, which sounds like this. So it's an evenly measured inhalation to exhalation. Let's do five, breathe four, three, two, last one. And then from here, rest the right leg down. Keep the left leg long, take an inhale to prepare. Exhale to do that little circle. Good, inhale, exhale, circle. Again, check in with the ribs. You're doing so good, keep it up. Let's do two more. You have to really engage through that quad too so that we're keeping the leg nice and straight. And then let's reverse it, inhale. Exhale in and out. 
Good, inhale, exhale, last four, you have three, breathe two, you got it, last one, circle, and then go ahead and grab onto the back of the thigh, let's come back into our straight leg, single leg stretch, hover the right leg off and start to pull one leg in at a time, breathing in for two and out for two, elbows are nice and wide here, chins deep over the chest so we're protecting the neck we have eight seven you're so strong you have six five four last three last two last one hug the knees in and take a well-deserved rest beautiful job let's go ahead and move on to our legs lowering a couple options here you can keep the head down another option is to lift the head neck and shoulders as we lift and lower both legs you can keep your hands behind your head here to have a little extra support to your head and neck extend the legs long up to the ceiling flex the feet to lower the legs down and point the feet to lift the legs up we inhale to lower and we exhale to lift Let's do six more. I know this is a tough one. Really working through those low abdominals. We have five. Breathe, inhale, exhale, lift, four. You have three. Last push, two. Last one. And then from here, go ahead and reach your arms forward. Lower your legs down to a 45, hold it. You can do this for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Really good. And then let's go ahead and come on to our left side now. And come into a nice side booty series. And let's prop ourselves up onto our left forearm for this one. So you're lifted through your left side body. If this feels a little too much, you could always come rested and put your head into your hand. But I'm gonna challenge you today to maybe try to stay propped up and really lift through your left side the whole time. Right palm can come in front of your stomach to have some extra support here. Let's extend the legs long. Legs in slightly in front of the body here. Make sure your hips are nice and stacked. Let's lift the right leg up, flex the foot. Inhale to kick it forward. Exhale to send it back. Inhale, exhale, press. Now your abs are really, really assisting here to lift that leg. Acknowledge them, say hello to them. They're doing more than we realize here. And obviously our outer thigh is doing a lot. Good, we have four. Breath is inhale to press forward, exhale to press back. For three, good, two, last one. Let's take some bicycles, bend the knee, extend the leg forward, and then press it back. Inhale to bend, exhale to extend, and press. Try to keep the leg on the same plane the whole time. Really using that control, again, coming from your center. Good, last one, and then we'll reverse it. Send the leg forward, press it back, and then release. Inhale, exhale, bend and extend. For three, good, two. Starting to feel my outer thigh. It's saying something to me. I don't know what it's saying, but it's saying something. We're almost there, press it back. Good, now from here, give me little circles around and out, just drawing a circle with the foot for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Check in with your left side, stay lifted. Reverse it for 10, nine, eight. Breathe seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, go ahead and lower yourself all the way down now, resting the head into the palm, bend the knees, and then keep the heels glued together as you lift both feet up. 
coming into a clamshell here. So you're gonna open the right knee and then lower it back down to the left knee. Lift it up, lower down. And now just check in here, a big tendency with this is that when we lift the knee up, we wanna open the hip all the way and lift the knee all the way up to the ceiling. It's actually a smaller range of motion. It's just up and you're keeping the hip stacked and then you lower back down. You're gonna feel more when you keep this a little smaller. Good, we have six, five, breathe four, three, two, last one now from here lower the leg all the way down lower the feet all the way down then do a fire hydrant so lift the leg all the way up and all the way down so now we're separating the feet You're using that outer thigh to lift the leg and the abs too let's do seven six five three four three you got it two Last one, now from here, you're gonna sweep the leg forward. Extend the leg, flex the foot, toes turn down, and now give me little pulses right here for 10. Nine, you got it. Eight, breathe seven, six, five, little higher, four, three, two, one, and release. Beautiful job, right away. We're gonna come to our hands and knees. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, Extend your right leg straight back behind you and extend your left arm straight out in front of you. Palm is facing in. Now check in with your alignment, pull up through the belly, make sure the right hip is down and reach through the fingertips. Tap the left elbow to the right knee using the abs and then lengthen back out. Let's do that again. Tap, use the abs and reach. You have eight, use the breath. Inhale, pull it in, exhale, reach out seven you got this six i'm here with you keep breathing for five four stay strong through the belly three last two last one extend it out and hold it now take little pulses up with the leg and the foot for ten nine eight seven six five four three two, one, place the hand down. Now from here, we're gonna take a Pilates push-up. Option to bring the foot down and then just shift your weight forward, come into a knee push-up. Other option is our full Pilates push-up. So both hands on the mat, extend your right leg long, keep the elbows narrow as you dip down, press yourself back up. Let's do eight, seven, keep that core turned on for six, you got this five breathe four three you know me we're gonna take pulses one more time after this two last one pulse it out for ten nine you can do it eight seven six five four three two one and release beautiful job take a well-deserved child's pose knees come wide send your hips back reach the arms forward and rest the head down Great job. Deep breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Now, shift your weight forward. Scoot your knees back. Let's go hands behind the head. And then from here, press your hips down into your mat. Squeeze your glutes. To lift your upper body up, use the back muscles. Lift, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We have eight. Really squeezing through the backs of the legs here. You have six. Good, five. We have four. Lift, three. Last two, can we get a little higher? Last one, stay lifted. Lift your legs off and now flutter kick your feet. Can you lift the upper body a little higher? Flutter kick a little faster for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Beautiful job. Now from here, we're gonna swivel around and we'll come into our right side to come into our left side booty series. So you'll be propped up on your right forearm here. 
your legs are extended long out in front of you. Check in with your hips, make sure you're nice and stacked, and then make sure your ribs are knitted together. Place your left palm in front of your body to stabilize you, and then lift the left leg up, flex the foot, and then sweep the leg forward, and then press the leg back. My dog is looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> So we're inhaling to swing the leg forward, exhaling to press it back. And again, abs are on fire here. Most movements in Pilates come from our center and our breath. Good. Let's do six, five, can you lift up a little more through this right side? I know I could, I just did a little more. Four. We have three. Last two. Last one, swing it back. Bicycles, bend the knee, extend it long, press it back. Inhale, bend, and exhale, press. Keep it on the same plane. Let's reverse it. So send the leg forward, bend and extend it back. Inhale, exhale, press. Good. For four. That second side, Zoe, is just, it just gets you a little bit more. Three. You guys got this. We got this. Two. Last one, send it back. Let's take our little circles. Lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Beautiful job. 2, 1. Reverse it. 10, 9, 8. Control it. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now rest all the way down. Head goes into the hand. Bend the knees. Coming into our clamshells. Keep the heels glued together. Lift the knee up and then lower down. And just make sure you'll feel such a difference. Like just test out doing one with lifting your hip all the way up rather than keeping it stacked, which is what we want to be doing. And you'll feel, you actually feel so much more with this smaller range. Good, let's do six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. Lift to your fire hydrant and then lower back down for 10, nine. So feet are separating now, eight, seven. Inhale to lift, exhale to control it down. Okay, you have five, four, three, three, two, one. Good, now from here, extend the leg forward, flex the foot, toes point down, little pulses up for 10, nine. Hardest part right here, breathe, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Right away, coming to our hands and knees. Extend your left leg long, right back behind you. Right arm extends out in front of you. Palm is neutral. Pull up through the belly, find length through your spine. Right elbow to the left knee, and then shoot it back out. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, send it out. Good, inhale. Exhale. We have seven. Use those abs. Six. Stay strong through the belly. Last four. Reach. Three. Two. Last one. Let's take our pulses for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four three, two, one, place the hand down. Option to bring both feet down and do regular knee push-ups or full Pilates push-up. Bend the elbows, keep it narrow and lift. We have seven more. You can do this six, five, we're almost there, four, breathe, three, last two, here we go, last one. And we got some pulses to finish for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, and release. Beautiful job. Let's take a nice cat cow here. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale to arch the spine. Drop the belly down towards the mat. Exhale to round. Let's do that again. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Inhale. And exhale. From here, let's come into a down dog. So go ahead and tuck your toes. Lift your knees off. Send your hips up. And feel this beautiful stretch of the back line of the body. Maybe start to bend one knee at a time and pedal through your feet a bit. Okay. And then from here, let's go ahead and shift our weight forward into a high plank position. Good, breathe and hold. And then from here, you can either continue to hold the plank, take breaks as you need, or start to bend one knee in at a time, coming into some slow mountain climbers. We're doing 12 total, so 10 more. Nine, eight, you can do this, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, last one, drop the knees down, bend the elbows and lower yourself all the way down. Great work. Palms come to your sides. Let's take a little swan stretch here. Take an inhale as you slowly lift your upper body up. You don't have to come too high. Maybe just halfway right here, coming into more of a cobra. Exhale to lower down, zip the abs to protect your low back. And then this time, maybe come up a little higher if it feels okay for you today. Maybe straighten the arms all the way and then zip the abs to come down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to zip and lower. Just flow through that a few more times. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Good. Last two. Using your breath. Last one. Good. And then from here, shift into our downward facing dog again. And then walk the hands back to the feet and bend the knees to slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Made it to our last exercise, coming into a lunge series. Step your right foot forward, left foot back. From here, lunge down and lift up strong. Both knees come to 90 and then you stand tall. We have eight. Last push, we got this, seven. Good, breathe six. Keep your long spine, five. Breathe four, three, two. You know the drill, get down, pulse it out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final push on this side, pitch your weight forward. Bend your left knee in, bend the elbows and lengthen back out. Inhale, exhale to extend. You just have six more like this. Five, four, I might have lied that this was the last push. Three, two, hold it, and now pulse it out right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, you got this. You have four, three, two, one, and release. It's the biggest lie us Pilates teachers tell, one more. <laughs> okay, but I'm being honest, this is the very last push of class. Left foot forward, right foot back, Lunge it down, stand up strong. You have nine, breathe, eight, seven, get low, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, take 10 little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one, shift your weight forward, extend your arms long, bend the elbows, bend the knee in, lengthen everything out. Seven, inhale to pull, exhale to lengthen. You have five, almost there. Four, three, two, last one, hold everything in, pulse it out. This is at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one and release. Beautiful job. Step it back. Drop the chin to roll all the way down. Walk the feet forward and come into one final child's pose. Beautiful job. Reach the arms forward. Drop the head down. Take a deep breath in. Maybe walk the hands over to one side. Walk to the left side and place the right palm on top of the left hand. Drop the head down. Feel the beautiful opening in your right side body. Walk the hands forward. Place the left hand on top of the right hand. Drop the head down. Good. And walk it center. Roll it up. Let's take a nice release for our legs that we just worked to. Step your right foot forward. Keep your knee rested on your mat. You can place your hands on your hips, maybe on the knee, and just gently sink the hips down. You should feel a really nice opening through the left hip flexor, left quad. Deep breaths here. Good, we can come into a half split from here, so straighten the front leg. Maybe flex the toes off. Think about finding length through the spine. A really nice stretch of that right hamstring. Good. Inhale. Exhale, rebend. And then let's step it back. Switch to the other side. Left foot forward. Hand on the knee or maybe on the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale. Sink the weight. Sink the hips down. Breathing into that right hip flexor, right quad. And shift your weight back, flex the left foot, half split, lengthening through the spine. Good. Rebend the knee, step it back, and release. Beautiful job. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and hope to see you soon.